in the back and I'm wearing a large, not because I have melons, but because I'm a large. And um, I'm wearing it with the passage cardigan and the skinny and our stud belt. And I just love it. I love it for the color and it's comfy and it's sleeveless. So if, it, if I was having a hot flash, which I do not, I could take it off, but it could also be worn, you know, transitional. Um, if it were, if we got another 80 degree day like last Thursday, which who knows if we'll see it again, but um, I think I just love the colors and it uh, has a black background. So you can pair it with, you know, just regular jeans. You can wear it with, um, with so many other different colors. So I am wearing the study top. Now we're over to Anne. Hey Bertie, what cardigan is that? Is that the one from this collect from this? Yeah, this is the passage okay. cardigan. It's beautiful. I, passage, I'm wearing the medium in the passage cardigan, so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Anne. Hi, I actually have the Spencer jacket on from this collection with the study top. So I've got the same top that Bertie had on. And so I've got it with the Spencer jacket and you can see that the colors go really well. Um, the Spencer jacket has snaps and it's a cute little pleated shoulder just kind of boutiques it, makes it a little more feminine. And I've got the X small and the study top on. Got the ruffles, as you saw with Bertie. I've got it on with, um, which you'll see a bit, the gala velvet jean. That's one of the new arrival pieces and the sparkle belt. I wanted to just tell you though, this, this study top is just like our portrait blouse. So this is the portrait blouse on the current collection line, which is amazing. And this is the same ruffle in the back and front on this blouse. It's just dark, so it's hard to see. And then with uh, our hair covering it, you probably can't tell, but this is a great silhouette. It's a V-neck, so V-necks are always slimming and elongating for everyone. And um, I'd say the fit, I mean, it's pretty true to size, but I'm noticing this season, some of the tops that are not the boxy pieces or the oversized pieces, you're gonna feel it a little bit in here if it's too tight, across the back and in this area. So that's where you're gonna feel. And our designers always tell us if it, if it feels and pulls tight there, you must size up because that's the way it's meant to be worn, is up, not tight like that. So this is a very comfortable blouse. I can see it with even shorts in the summer. I think it's an all year round top. However, holiday, I think it would be beautiful. Uh, Thanksgiving and holiday time. So it just, it's, it goes with so much and it's so neutral. So thank you. I'm going to put it on to who's following me. Um, I'm looking at Cheryl. Cheryl. And by the way, Ann, I love your um, the little charm necklace. It's perfect. Oh, for that. Thank you. I meant to point that out. Thank you. Yeah. This is the charm necklace and the charm earrings that are on our current collection right now. And I love our jewelry this season. This, these are just two of the pieces that are on, but it's beautiful. It's a toggle and it has a black little enamel charm along with uh, kind of a flower charm, but it's just, it's, I wear it with so much. It really is kind of an 18 inch, but then it has a little dangle that hangs down. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Cheryl is going to talk about the frontier jacket. Yeah. Hi everybody. So I'm wearing the frontier jacket. As you can see, it's grounded with black, but has so many pretty colors, has fuchsia and this mustard color. I've been wearing mustard with it, but paired it back with our replay top from this season. It has a shirt. I'm going to try to pull down my thing so you can see it. It has a shirt like hem and uh, cute pockets that are uh, slanted. I also have the sparkle belt on that I'll talk about in a little bit, but it's so comfortable. I um, was very surprised at how comfortable it was, and it's going to be my go-to piece because you can wear it with leggings, cover up the bum, and feel really good and fashionable as you hit the road and, and go out. So I think I'm turning it over to Kim, right? Yeah, looks great. And yes. that's going to show us another variation on the Frontier Jacket. Yes. Twinning with Cheryl. Cheryl and I go back, um, I don't know how many years, our boys were like five years old playing yeah. Little League hockey. <laughs> Small world story. Um, so the Frontier Jacket, yes. I have to say the most wonderful thing about this is that you would think it would have like a stiffer flannelly feel, but it really is a mixture and there's some stretch to it. And it's just, 
cozy, but not too hot. Um, I have it paired back with some really vintage, um, like our burgundy skinny cords that we had probably a few years ago. And the matching, um, like this is one of our cozy t-shirts that they did. So it's a column of like this plummy purple from several years back. It obviously goes beautifully with the simple tee right now. I really thought Cheryl might wear it with the simple tee, um, but wearing it with the replay blouse, also with our black turtleneck, I think it'll be great. I think it'll be great with black leggings and Ugg boots and a turtleneck all cozied up. Um, this is our, that D-ring belt that we did in Plum. Um, I could have even belted this from the outside with that or a black belt. Um, I just think there's a lot of versatility. I think even, you're gonna see this gorgeous sweater on Vicky later, but you could even layer this on top of this thing for a really cozy outdoor, you know, sit around the fire or go ice skating or something like that. Um, so yeah, I couldn't be more surprised and pleased with this little frontier jacket. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I still have that t-shirt too. So I got to dig yeah. that one out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Hey, Kim. Lots of options. Hey, Kim. Kim. Yes. Sarah had a question uh, if it was similar to the Highlander shirt. The, um, this is softer than, uh, this is softer than the Highlander shirt, I think. I agree. Um, maybe a little thicker, I, I don't know, but it's definitely got a softer hand. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me see, fine. Kathy's going to talk to us about the, um, special, Simpleton. where are you? There you are. I'm, can All you right. see me? Am yeah. I on you? No, you're no, good. I'm, not I'm you. trying to spotlight you. I can't find you. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, start talking and you'll spot. All right. I'll start talking <laughs> and then it'll work. I hope. Yeah. Um, so this is the simple tea that's in the current collection. It's one of the highest selling pieces um, the, of the entire season. So I'll just kind of show you for those of you who haven't seen it. It's got this great little oatmeal color, but with some speckles through it. It feels like butter. It's got like this fun little weight to it. It's so incredibly comfortable. These are those pieces that I say I wear during the day and then I just take my bra off and sleep on them. Um, <clears throat> so oftentimes the design team does a different colorway in the um, in pieces that we have. We just saw that with our uh, other pieces that uh, Ann and Birdie were wearing. So this is the simple tee. I am wearing the extra small with COVID. I could probably <laughs> see my belly hang out there a little bit, but uh, I could do probably a small on this as well. Um, you, it depends on how you would like the fit. So what I did is I just decided to dress it up just a little bit. Um, I'm wearing, you guys are going to see a twofer. Let's hope I don't fall. Um, underneath here, I'm wearing the, you and are going to see, uh, Jane and I uh, showing the theater dress a little bit differently. So this is the theater dress slip. So I just threw the simple tee up on top. And then this was like a little poncho that we had in one of our mini collections from seasons ago and threw it on with one of our over the knee, my, one of my over the knee boots, which is really trending this season or a boot that comes um, right to the knee. So there's the simple tee. So you'll, be able to either get it in this color or the other color. I do think this one will sell out for sure. Thanks, Kathy. Um, I missed a question from Kelly was asking, is that new jewelry? But I think maybe she was referring to what Kim had on. I'm not sure. So yikes, I missed that one. Kelly, we can uh, maybe send another chat and tell us who you were looking at. That would be great. Can I ask a question? What size was the sample simple T? Just so I'm thinking about sizing. It was a medium, I believe. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Vicki's up next, I believe, right? Yes, with the confection cardigan. Hey, Vic. Hi. Hi, everyone. Okay, so this is our confection cardigan. Um, the absolute uh, most amazing color pink. It's kind of a heathered dusty mauvey pink. It's got a bunch of different um, interesting cables in it. Fantastic big buttons, which I love. I'm not wearing anything underneath it because I'm belting it. So I thought pink and leopard are so cool together. So I'm wearing it with um, our pink 
little pants from last season from spring. And then I'm also doing a little leopard booty. So I thought that was fun. This uh, sweater has just a really cute vintage vibe to it. So what I thought was fun to do um, is pull out some of our old vintage cabbie necklaces. Um, I feel like, you know, with that sparkle belt that we have, you know, this season and our new arrivals and just all these like kind of cute vintagey things, just the old rhinestone necklaces that Cabbie did, or if you happen to have some old ones or just some cool old pearls, I think are just gonna look really cute with this. Um, it does have a tiny bit of wool in it. I think it has like 23% wool. Um, so it also has some silk, it has some alpaca. It, if this were 100% wool, it would itch like crazy on me and I would not be able to wear it. Um, it's a touch of wool, so if you're really sensitive to wool, just know that. It's fine on me, I'm, I have nothing underneath it, which I said already, <laughs> but that it, it's not bothering me at all. Um, but if you are sensitive to, to wool, just know that. Um, and then Diana's going to show you this sweater worn a different way. But first, I just wanted to give you a couple of other ideas. Um, obviously, it's a cardigan, so you can wear it over anything. You know, we don't have to be all matchy-matchy with our colors. Um, I think this is our little multi-purpose cami. And I think this would just look adorable underneath it. So kind of the same hues going on. Really, really cute. And then I just thought our Sinatra top would be so cute. I love pink and black together and I love when we have the sleeves sticking out and then we pull up the sleeve of the sweater so you'd have this nice little polka dot sticking out and just a little like black and white. And so now you'll see Diane. Looks amazing, Vicki, thank you. Thank you. All right, Diane, show us what you did with it. So we didn't even talk about that and I'm wearing the cami underneath <laughs> and I'm wearing the belt. <laughs> as a necklace because I didn't want it to get stuck on any of the fur. I don't know. I like the bling. I don't know. Just put it on for the hell of it. Who knows if I would ever wear it out. Maybe if I had the courage, but it doesn't look too bad. But, so the wool in this is not bad at all. Um, if you notice, Vicky's sleeves were a little bit shorter. I wear, I'm a small and that's how I, how I ordered it. So you'll see like it's pretty kind of boxy and round without it being belted. Um, I always tell people like what my daughter picks out and this is what she picked out to have. She's 19 years old and would love this for college. So it's very nice. It's got this little, I do like it with this red, just a little bit behind it. And I like it with the plum. So it's like that whole royal plum, red, pink. Amazing. That's it. And oh, Brandy's next. Uh, thanks, Vicki. I love that belt that way. That's really cool, I think. All right, Brandy, let me find you if you start talking. There you are. Brandy's going to show us the luxury poncho. Hi, everybody. I have the luxury poncho on. It is black and it has a little twinkle in it. So it's got this metallic, um, I would say silver, but you could wear gold with it too. Um, I actually, little sneak peek, I have the Caroline shirt that I'm going to show you later. So I dressed it up with the Caroline shirt. I also, if you can see, have the sparkle belt on with it. And then I put it with some vintage sparkle earrings that we had last fall. And um, it's got a side zip. Oh, you can't really see, but it zips on the side. <clears throat> you can dress this up or down. Um, I believe Bertie's going to show us how to dress it down. And then um, it comes in two sizes, extra small, small, and medium large. And of course, because I'm 6'1", I'm wearing the medium large. Thank you. That looks great. Okay, Bertie, show us what you did. Yep. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm plugging, I am plugging my phone into the, well, hold on. I'll get it on. You guys caught me. We needed Brandy to talk longer, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't pick up on that. What a moderator. Holy cow. I think I think it's like really important and informative for people like I'm five eight and a half and I have a small on and so that's the way that it fits me. So I think the heights of us would be helpful yeah. to people. 
So okay. I'm five foot four as of now. Who knows next week? And I have on the um, medium large, and, it, and I was thinking that it, I feel a little swallowed up by this. And I'm wearing um, the, our little um, turtle tee underneath, casual. What I, I do like best about it, though, is the, that it could be worn as a shop, but I did have to take this off in order to get it <laughs> zipped back up. Um, but I do like how you can just wear it differently, either with just one side up, or you can even actually unzip it and wear two sides up. I, on a normal life, I attend a lot of meetings and you know, you start off and you're toasty, but then the air conditioning will kick on. So I truly do see how this would be so cute to wear and start off just as a sweater, but you can wear it so many different ways. And I would probably, I would need to find something, I'd like to find something more sparkly, you know, to wear under it to, you know, and make it dressier in the evening. But I like it that it can be worn um, so many different ways, either with dressier pants, I have a billion pony leggings I can certainly wear it with, or I'm still just wearing the, the skinnies right now, but it is comfortable and cozy and, and I don't have any of my yellow labs dog hair on it, which is a plus, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I love it being casual. Yeah. And even having the zippers even unzipped right now to be even more like a Serapi actually. Mm -hmm. so that's how I'm wearing it. The sparkle really shows up in, in, on you in that light. It's really pretty. I feel it, like you don't see that in the marketing materials. Right. Much. Really nice. Yeah, so silver under here for the holidays would be great. It's really pretty. All right, I'm going to talk to you about the um, sparkle belt, which you have seen on many of us. And I was going to say that it's like borderline belt and jewelry. I guess you can't really see my face. Right? And so Diane showed a really cool way to wear it. And I love it casually with these um, higher straight jeans that I have also fallen in love with this season. Um, a couple things surprised me about this belt. One is that it's um, very flexible. I was afraid maybe it wouldn't be, and it's very lightweight. Um, it's got seven little belt um, eye holes, you know, eyelets, so you can adjust the size. I happen to have extra because these jeans are so high, but if I were wearing a skinny jean and it were lower on my hips, then obviously I would take up that extra. But I just think it's a piece you're gonna have forever and I love it and I can't wait to try it as a necklace like Diane did. So um, that is my sparkle belt. And I think, Hi. let's see, Cheryl, you're next, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. let me find you, there you are. So I have it on as well with the cinch skinny. I don't have as much room because to Kim's point, these hit me a little bit lower. I love it too with just black. Um, I think it's super fun with um, the sparkle is amazing. I also love it how Diane wore it. So I'm gonna actually try that too. So thanks for that tip. Um, but I think it's gonna be great with the, um, with the poncho, I think, um, Brandy had it on with the poncho, just that little sparkle with it. And I love the vintage earrings with that too, Brandy. So thanks for that idea. Um, but can't wait to wear it around the holidays with, um, with it up a little bit higher with a nice um, black dress. It would look super sharp for the holidays. So that's the sparkle belt. Very nice. I think I'm giving it to Kim. Um, I think you're giving it to, yes, Kim and the fate dress. I'm not sure how to even pronounce it, but. I think we call this um, fet. I think fet. it's a fet dress. I think fet I is, think I think, French for celebration. Yeah. And um, this is a really fun, easygoing, super comfortable dress. It's our poly chiffon. It's double layered, so it's fully lined. Um, you know, it's a sleeveless little sheath. And a little bit of a halter. It's a little bit cut in. Um, zip in the back. It does have a little hook and eye here in the front. You could wear that open if you wanted. Um, and I really think it's a year year round dress. I think it could be fun for the holidays. Um, I pulled out one of our little vintage furs. This is from several years ago, one of my first seasons and one of my first faux furs with Cabby. So for the holidays, you throw it on with a little black fur or even a leopard fur to 
shake up the um, print a little bit. And then in the summer, I think it could be great for a wedding shower or a baby shower even, or just a fun girls night out, a birthday celebration. Um, it just is a good little all around, easy going, throw on, throw on a little bit of jewelry, some pumps, and you're good to go. So this is the set dress. That is really Can you cool. tell us how tall you are and where it falls on you? I always, I work in a hospital, so I don't want to like wear anything too short. Yeah, um, I'm 5'5", five five and you can't, I can't step back far enough, but it's, the front is a little bit shorter than the back. The front is hitting right at my knee, above, at, above the knee where it's supposed to mm. hit. You know, you're never supposed to hit the middle of the knee. You're supposed to hit above the knee or below the knee. Um, so it's hitting right above my knee, and then it's just a touch longer in the back. So you can't really, I gotta figure out this phone thing where I can yeah. get far, far enough back for people to see the full length thing. Perfect, thank you. you could go, yeah. Maybe you can tilt your camera down. Well, I have a laptop, go further so it's back already there. like tilted as uh, much as it can. I think I have to do the phone thing, like put it way up high on a tripod or something. I, also, I think it would be long enough. I'm 5'2 on a tall day. And oh. I think that that would hit below the knee probably, right? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it runs true to size. This is a, I forget if this is a medium, small, medium, large, but it, yeah. So totally true to size. Awesome. Thank you. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's cute. It's cuter in person, I think. Than when you see it in yeah. Print. Definitely a different for Tabby. Mm -hmm. Nothing like it too. All right. Jane is going to show us the theater dress. That's right. So I really hope you can see this. So um, the theater dress is that black dress that, you know, splits off the whole um, show for the, for the video. And, you know, it really has, clearly it is dressy, right? So, but I kind of did it a little bit more of, if you will, uh, I don't know what to call it, but I said a New York City vibe, like I've got it on with our, with our leather jacket. I have the leopard belt on and um hey, I Jane I think your um maybe your camera is not did your camera fall is it can you see me no mm -hmm. I can't you can't I, I can. can I can I can okay. it must be me <laughs> yeah well you're 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 still shot your picture from Bertie's wedding oh, I know but I can't find I, yeah I'm seeing a, somebody's cover oh well, I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt. Just go ahead and oh, go. That's okay. But if you, I'm like, can you see, like I have on with, um, I don't know how far I am. I, I don't know if you can see me, but I have on really kind of like Doc Martens with it. So I have on lace tights with this dotted Swiss and uh, I have on Doc Martin kind of shoes with it. I too, Tasha, am 5'2 on a really good day. <laughs> For me, the slip that's underneath that I saw earlier with Kathy, it does hit me to my knee, the slip does, but then there's a ruffle on the bottom of the dress and that is to the middle of my calf. So it's definitely, you know, like this, it's holiday for sure with some gorgeous bumps or something like that would make it really elegant um but i kind of was like i'm a tough girl i got my lady uh wonder woman bands on my wrists and some good great jewelry that um a friend of mine makes and i just thought like what we have as options though is if you took off the slip underneath you know if you're young and feeling fine you can actually wear a little bralette underneath this top piece the, the lace dress part and some leggings and it would look, that's great for, for really fit and really young, I think is a <laughs> way to wear it. And then another way to do it is with that slip, just put, I have our t-shirt from the spring that I just grabbed out of my drawer. So sorry, it's a little wrinkly, but you put this on under the slip. And then I thought I have my little coach silver kicks and I'm ready to walk around in the city during the day, whatever city it might be. And in the evening, I can put on the lace over the slip and some shoes. And I have 
pack lightly and yet I can take my one dress through the entire day, which is really kind of a nice way to go. So now I'm gonna turn it over to Kathy, who's gonna show you a different way of styling this dress. Jane, I love how badass you are. You really are like <laughs> That's so funny to me. Hey, Kim, can you let someone in the waiting room? Yeah, I just did. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show it a little differently. Um, I'll be spending Christmas Eve um, in Colorado. So I'm giving it a little Colorado vibe. So you can see that I've like taken, this is a belt that, and this is actually an old cabbie belt um, that I've had for a long, long time that you can um, put on different uh, belt buckles. So a fun little belt buckle that has a little bit of more of a Western look to it. Obviously I've got my hat on. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna stand up to show you where it hits on me. Oh, you guys probably can't see it. it I'm five, two and three quarters. So it hits like just right above my knee. But again, the slip, is, the underslip is kind of a high low. Um, I've got on a pair of like kick ass, just easy going fry boots. Um, and then easy to wear in the snow or however, whatever's going to be uh, facing me on Christmas Eve in Colorado. But I also loved how Jane showed you different ways that we can put this together. So definitely, it's not, I mean, it does have kind of a dressier feel to it, but you can totally tone it down and it's super comfortable. Um, you guys will see how this overlay has this great little V-neck to it. Um, and it's an on pure waist, so it comes up easy to throw a belt on up here. Even our little sparkly belt would look so cute with this as well, but even just making it no belt at all. I'll just show you what that looks like. And it just gives it kind of this great little straight up and, you know, there's no, uh, what we're, we're, you know, putting the belt at our most narrow part of our body, which is awesome. But then you see it like this with no belt and it still looks um, phenomenal. So you can really dress this up and down and use these in two different ways. Love two furs. And these two pieces, this even little black underneath part could just be used um, in the summertime and put on a little pair of flip flops and you'll be good and out the door with a fun piece of cabbie jewelry. <laughs> Didn't mean to be showing my well, chest well, the whole time. <laughs> you did it. Oh, it's like looking at your chest. Diane um, is going to show us yeah, the time pullover. Tonight, right now? Yeah. No. So the chart is falling. Somebody needs to mute. Excuse yeah, me. I wasn't going to interrupt the camera for it, but. I don't know who that is. I don't okay, know. Right. Anyways, so the time pullover. So, we have already bought some things. Promised yeah. to buy some things. Yeah. Yeah. That was um, what I went to her house. Diane, can you can you hold off, Diane? I don't know, Kim, if you have something on your uh, controls to mute everyone. So, I'm just trying Diane. To, but Diane, you have to unmute yourself if you would. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. So so um. So many things are going back to the 80s, and this color reminds me of a dress that I made in the 80s. <laughs> it, it was my own custom dress. If you guys know my story, I made a lot of clothes. Um, and so I love this next neckline. I was like afraid, like I didn't want to put anything on that. It's just so, so gorgeous. And um, it just seems very royal. So I put the belt over it. The bell sleeves are super cute. I wore this all day today it was amazing and um it's just super super comfy like oh and i wanted to tell you my belt i which i normally wear a small and i bought a small a part of me thinks maybe i want a larger size so i have more drapey but that my belt's a small so this comes down pretty far I'm like here's my tush if um i'll take off my belt so the warning is with this belt, it, um, you know, it's each single rhinestone is glued and clamped. And so like any fine jewelry or things you want to be careful, like that you don't get it caught on. So that was why I started off with my putting it around my neck. So here's the shirt down. So it comes down pretty far, comes past my groin. 
looks beautiful with these plum pants. Comes all the way down. And it's just got a nice little silhouette. And it's super comfy. Really cute. And who's next? I think I am next. Um, yeah, hang on. So I'm going to show you the Gala Velvet Jeans, which um, I happen to love. So I, here's what I'm doing for the holidays if I ever get to go anywhere. So I have the jeans there. Um, I'm usually a six in a cabby pant. These are a little bit high waisted. I feel like they're kind of roomy. So I know there was a lot of talk on um, cabby addicts and some of the other Facebook groups about them being um, ha people having to size up, but I don't find that. They're not super stretchy. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. I'm trying to see if I can get a picture of the length. I don't know if, yeah, so they're, you know, they come to my ankles. I do not have them rolled. I have little pumps on and all I'm going to do for Christmas or the holidays is just throw my little jacket on um, from last winter and I'm going to feel like super comfortable. And those are my velvet jeans. I have the hostess jacket from last uh, last fall's new releases and it's a crushed velvet so I wouldn't necessarily wear these uh, but I know Cabby has had velvet jeans and velvet jackets in the past and I think I think it would be okay um, if you wanted sort of that really dressy look. Um, the other thing I might do this weekend is put on my little witch hat and answer the door. So these are the jeans. <laughs> Cute, Kim. Yeah, I had to have Perfect. a little Halloween fun, right? And Kim, I think we need uh, Brandy too um, with the Caroline shirt. Oh, did I miss she her? Did she go yet? Oh, we missed Brandy. I'm sorry. I'm trying to let people in and spot oh, yeah. them. I'm kind of pretty much messing up. It's fine. Up, so. All right, Brandy, where are you? There you are. Sorry about that. This so is the Caroline shirt. Yes, I'm wearing the Caroline shirt. This is great for the holidays. It's a joyful plaid, easy fit. Um, you can wear it, you can't really see, but you can wear it like tucked, front tucked. You can wear it um, with part of it out and part of it in. Um, it also has a hidden hidden button panel, so you don't see your buttons. Um, I'm a little chest so I'm definitely wearing a tank underneath it. Um, and you can wear it open. So as you saw before, I had it with the luxury poncho and I dressed it up. And now I'm going to make it a little more casual and put it with the McQueen coat. And then um, I have jeans on, which you can't see, sorry. And then um, you can wear a cute little color camel booty, get like um, a cute little fall look. Um, and also the sleeves are elastic, so you can roll them up and they're gonna stay. And it's got this cute little color. Like, really pretty plaid. It's like got navy and uh, red and a little bit of purple. Oh. Brandy, does everyone know how tall you are? Did you say that earlier? I'm six one. I think it's just good to know because she wears the clothes so beautifully and yeah, but she she's right. a tall girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> that looks great on you. Thank you. Thanks, Brandy. Um, next we have Anne who's gonna give us another take on the velvet jeans. Yes, and I wanted to show you, I have the study top on that I showed you earlier, but I put it on with our flounce jacket. This is one of my favorite jackets. These are the sleeves. And then this has navy in it. It's hard to see sometimes online and a little bit of almost like a, a light brown and then a khaki. But this also pairs, our navies are so dark that it, they pair so great with black and you can mix your blacks and navies. But I'm wearing the black gala velvet jean. I even looked that up of how to say it and it is gala. <laughs> this is the, the flounce jacket and it has the flounce at the bottom and the flounce at the sleeves and I kind of made it a little more casual with the velvet jean and Kim Bean just showed you the velvet jean. I have it on with a sparkle belt and I'm wearing a small in the sparkle belt and I love it has two little loops on the belt that go through 
that the um, the end of the belt goes through, and then it also has you know the loop on it on the jean. So it is a five pocket jean. The the jean I will. Um, as Kim mentioned, it has a 2% spandex in it. It does give a little bit. I don't think our denim gives very much anymore. It used to, but I think this gives a little bit because they were a little tight when I first put them on and then I've worn them around just in the last couple hours and they've given a little bit, but I love this jean and I don't know if you can see it. I just have on a, fl a little uh, flat leopard and I love to mix my leopards uh, with a lot of different pieces. This, I am five foot five, and I have some length, a little bit of length on this jean at the bottom. It is a skinny jean, our traditional skinny jean. So I could even roll it up a couple notches and put on an ankle booty with a heel, but you could do so many different things with this. It's nice that it's skinny, so you could tuck it in a high boot um, and just rock it out that way or an Ugg boot. Uh, but then I love the juxtaposition of having something dressy, sparkle, but then throwing something casual with it. I love um, how a lot of us mix those things. But this is the flounce jacket. And I'll just show you, I've got this study top, that's, which is a new arrival tucked in all the way with the belt. And this is the back. But this jean I have on um, is pretty true to size. This is a size four and um, Hopefully that helps. Now I want to just point out to you the gala jacket. So this is a piece that none of us have because we had a velvet jacket on the line and so we don't want to duplicate nor do we want you to duplicate your things because there's so much cabby to go around that we uh, want you to get something different. But this matches this jean amazing. And this has a satin collar and it is a trimmer fit. So it's not going to be a boxy fit. It does have the sleeves that you can see she's got rolled up. And then I'm gonna show you it in this way where you can kind of see she's got like, it's almost like a little lapel and the satin on the lapel. And then um, she's got it on with the jeans, but then she's even wearing tennis shoes. So it's really fun. But that jacket is a typical blazer and it hits kind of like at the high hip. And just to give you an example, the, the gala jean that we're wearing is $129, because sometimes it's nice to hear these prices. The study top that I have on, which is like the portrait blouse, is $84. And the gala jacket is $169. And these pieces on new arrivals are the only pieces in the collection that are very limited in quantity. So if you're just thinking of maybe trying something, you might want to try a couple sizes if you're not sure and order both. And then you might even think of um, just trying, uh, buying and trying rather than not getting it because we do have a lot of people with cavity regrets that don't jump right on it. So we're all taking pre-orders now and they'll explain more to you about it. Can I jump in real quick? Yes. I have the jeans, the gala jeans too, and I'm 6'1", as I mentioned before, and they fit kind of like they do on the model. I'm actually very happy about it. Like they're a little short, they're not all the way you know, down to my ankle, like, but they're gonna look good. Like, it's okay for them to be a little short and not rolled. Yeah. Somebody, um, um, Sarah was asking if we know the inseam, and I don't have my collection notes. Is yes, they're 31 inches. 30. 31 inches. Okay. And I'm a 36 inseam, but <laughs> it works. <laughs> Just put booties on, and it would, they'll be fine. Like, they're so yeah, comfortable. Yeah, I love yeah, it's gonna look. They're, it's a comfortable jean. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, um, that was our fashion show, ladies. Excellent, well done. Uh, can I ask, can yeah. I, ask um, I had um, one of my customers jump on a little later after um, she just came home. So is there any way that the girls can just show that Frontier shirt quickly again? Sure. And, and the Cheryl and Kim, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Cheryl, you have to unmute. I'm unmuted. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I'll show it, Kim. Since Do I you have it? it? Okay, good. It might clash with your dress. But this, <laughs> is, the, this is the Frontier jacket. Can, can you all see? Yes, perfect. The color is beautiful, so comfortable. The side pockets. Here we go. So, so comfy. This is the Frontier. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. 
I love the buttons on that. Anybody else yeah. want to see a, another piece that they might have, might have missed? I have a quick request also, yeah. uh, Brandy. <laughs> Brandy, I know that on your, uh, over your left shoulder, I believe, is the trench from Wild Ones. <laughs> right? So it's from our previous New Arrivals collection, but it was on a slow boat from somewhere else. So it wasn't really available, but it is available from the <coughs> Can you put that on just so we can see it? Thank you so much. I wore this to dinner last Wednesday and everybody complimented me. I definitely turned heads. <clears throat> and so it's so pretty. I just had to see because I you know. Because we missed it. Because we missed it. We didn't necessarily, it wasn't, really cute. wasn't something any of us could buy before, like we did these pieces and very cool. Is In the back. It's really nice. Slit, is it one slit in the back? Um, Double. No. Yes, one. One. Okay. one. Yeah. I have it on two. Oh, I didn't see it, Diane. Okay, great. I, I, just shot. I love this jacket. It's really cute. Let me show it on Diane too for another. Why does this do this? Like it keeps jumping. Hang on. Diane needs to talk. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so yeah, it's a little bit long. It's um, just, it's an inch before my knees. It feels like a um, raincoat. It has, it's like a really nice texture. But I don't know if I would wear it all like in a pouring down rainstorm. <laughs> like it's not right <laughs> right probably not unless you have waterproofed it yeah <laughs> uh, diane what size do you have on so look at that that's what it is mm, well, that's pretty yeah let's see the back um i have a small on cute so it's really like 1982 collars coming back ladies <laughs> <laughs> so it popped. Like what a difference just popped. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. So and I usually whenever something's a little bit big, I always wrap it over and yeah. try and make it so you can see my girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks, Jane, for asking that question. I kind of forgot we missed that one last time. Yeah, no, no problem. So, so um for our customers and friends who don't know the drill for new releases, our inventory is always limited for these. So get with your stylist, I would say before the end of the week, if you want to um, buy and try, if there's anything you're dying to have, get with her. We have an ordering window that opens, somebody correct me, I think it's, um, it opens Friday. Friday. Oh. Well, no, it, no. Yeah, it opens on the first. Second, I think. November. Yeah. It's small, like the first part of next week, we have a couple of days to order. And Monday to Wednesday. Yes, yep. thank you. I should have known that, but I forgot. So Monday through Wednesday, and then after that, um, we kind of have to wait till all the orders are filled and we see what's left. So if there's something you're pining for, do it. And we can always send it back for a refund, no problem. Also, if you're gonna do anything for the holidays, you might wanna think about some of these things as gifts. We have um, our return. Policy for the holidays is extended from now through the January 31st, so it's really a no um, a no problem purchase if you want to try that for a gift. And then we have a third set of new releases, and this is the first time Caddy's doing this. Um, I think they come out around Thanksgiving time, which are all really giftable, cool. There's our furry our furry tone and a crossbody clutch and some jewelry. They're all. Um, sort of non-size item, so you want you want to tune in definitely when we do our open house for that, because um, there'll be some good gift giving things there. So, any questions? Um, Guys, here's the furry tote. I just thought I'd show you the furry tote. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, thanks, Diane. Very cool. Like, it will be. It's going to be ninety nine dollars. It's got a it's size on the inside got the snaps. It's so comfy. Got pockets on the inside. It comes in a really cool storage bag, which could be used for something else also. 
Like who wouldn't want to get that for the holidays, right? Right. So cute. So cute. Yeah. So shop local, support your cabbie stylist, and get all your Christmas gifts online. No fuss, no muss. Um, keep in mind that tomorrow is an in-person open house at Brandy's, and we can, um, your stylist can share that address. We will follow um, COVID, you know, distancing methods, so you can be comfortable um, coming to see and touch and try on if you like to do that as well. So. And I think Jane maybe would like to have a few final words. And I don't know why I keep getting that bounce to Diane. Not that we don't love to see Diane, but it's Jane's turn. <laughs> That's all right. It's all, it's all spotlight it's all good, material. Right? It's all good. So I think, um, you know, we really do appreciate you spending time with us this evening, just getting to see us uh, share what is available for this uh, Ocean's 8, which happens to be on television now. If you haven't seen the movie, it's really fun. It's a real power kind of movie. Um, but really kind of uh, working through the collection and letting us each bring our own style to what Cabby has to offer because each of us do have our own style, just like you have your own. And we're here to support you uh, from you know taking these whatever, the time of COVID, like trying to shift our mindset from surviving to thriving. And sometimes all it takes for a great day is to put on something new that makes you just feel powerful or empowered and uh, showered and cleaned and pulled together. I don't know. Um, just all of those things that, you know, even though we may not be uh, in our same social spaces that we normally are. This is, this is where we do our cabbie now, via Zoom or via front row. And uh, we really do appreciate your support. Um, and however we can help support you, whether it's bringing some, you know, some of the clothing by your home so you can try, or uh, if it works best to come to each of your stylist's home, make an appointment, we're always available, uh, or we, we're available for scheduling, I should say, and uh, certainly with Front Row, it's an opportunity to really share Cabby with people that have been in your life that may no longer be in your neighborhood or close enough to come for an in-person show, but you know they can participate in the fun. So we do appreciate again, your time, your support, and for any of those who know somebody who wasn't able to make it tonight, uh, get with your stylist and have them get with the sty your stylist so that they can give the address for tomorrow in Westerville. We do hope to see you there. And thank you. So I did put the little cardigan on with the slip underneath the dress and you can see I'm, I'm endowed. I got, I got my girls. They're all, they're all in, but they're all hanging out. But this is just <laughs> a way of, you know, having the sweater with a leopard and a little black underneath and just, you know what? I'm going to get noticed in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Jeff's waiting. Yeah. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's everything. That's Thanks, rough, girls. Right? Thank you, everyone, for Thank being you, here. Thank you, everybody. Everybody who showed up. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. you guys tomorrow. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you all for coming. Stop recording. Oh yeah, I should do that.